welcome to the latest episode of the Bird Bros. I'm Sean Dale Best, and this is John Robert Adams. But they call me Bird. And they call me Bro. Some more rare bird sightings. Got a northern gannet on the way. And we're heading over to the lift bridge there, just under the skyway. So we'll meet you over there. We're crazy for birds, guys. So we're here on a rainy day, and we're looking for some birds. The rain ain't gonna stop us. No beach access from here. Go bird or go home. Yeah. Gruesome. One of the most common galls found here in southern Ontario, the ring-billed gall, named after, yes you got it, the ring around its bill. This gall species only takes two years to get to adult plumage. That means it's a pretty small gall. And, and the bird here trying to do the butterfly stroke? Well this is a herring gall, a juvenile. This gall takes four years to get to adult plumage. This is probably in its second year. Much bigger than the uh, ringbill gull there. Look at that sketch bag on the left. Whoa! <laughs> we, we made it to the lift bridge somehow, and uh, it's going up because the boat's coming through. This is an interesting place for birding. I wonder why they call it a lift bridge. <laughs> That ship sure does scare away the birds. Yeah, check that out. And they're gone. Hey, you're, that's the wrong way! <laughs> oh, we got some uh, long-tailed ducks here. There's the male long-tailed duck. Long-tailed duck has a long tail. Go figure. How about that? But it also has this sweet plumage, which is uh, a reason that I like to photograph them. If you ever hear someone say they saw an old squall, well, they're talking about a long-tailed duck, because that, that's what it used to be called. But that's what, like, uh, like a, not a, that's like not a good term to use, so don't use it. Yeah, yeah. Just call them long-tailed ducks. Well, we got uh, white-winged scotters here. A large sea duck. Yeah. The male there in the front with the white wing and the little white on its eye. Females in the back, drabber color but with more white. Yeah, the males can most easily be depicted. The males can be, the males have orange beaks. Hey, <laughs> <Okay>, big. <laughs> oh, that's a different type of beak. There's a surf scot. Looks like a clown. Note the black, white, and orange all on the beak. Plus the noticeable large white dot on the back of its head. I told these women that I saw this bird, and they were like, <laughs> and then they walked away. <laughs> and then it was right there. Oh, there's a loon. That's a common loon. That's its winter plumage. It doesn't look the same as it does in the summer. That's the bird you can find on the Canadian $1 coin. The loony! Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Oh! What's that? It's a female red vested the dancer. Yeah. There's a male red breasted the dancer. Currently going through some molting. That's why it looks all funky. Oh! Look at that! It's the Gannett! That bird right there! It's the gannet! Yeah! You can tell by the long wings! Horrible footage, but what can you do? We just saw a northern gannet. Just flew over us down at the pier by the lift bridge. Yeah. Right over our heads. We've got some footage. Really quick. Oh, we want to get the better footage. Yeah, so we're on the hunt because we're not the bird schmoes. We're the bird bros. Mmm. Like, 
subscribe, and share. Well guys, I guess we were the bird schmoes. Didn't get that Gannett again. But stay tuned for more. We're always getting birds all the f***ing time. Yeah. And if you make sure to subscribe, so you'll get all the updates and stuffs. It's all about the birds. Feel it in the word. See it in the sky. Makes me want to fly. Looking on the ground. There's a bird there too. Looking at worms. And eating seed too. Birds, birds everywhere. I see them in the sky. They make sounds at me. Their poop is white, because there's pee in there too. Oh, they've got sometimes only one thing that they poo and pee from, and they also have sex with that same place. It's one dirty hole. That's something about birds that you didn't know. Uh.